Hello everyone, my name is Audrey Holton and I am a senior music education major from TCU. I am also a percussionist, which means I play all of the drums. So let's get ready to hear a concert from the TCU Percussion Ensemble. They are going to play some steel band music. But first of all, what's a steel band and what do they play? Well, come on, let's go see. A steel band is a group of players who all play steel pan. This is a steel pan, and this is a steel pan, this is a steel pan, and these are steel pans. The steel pan was invented in the 1940s on the islands of Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean Sea. A long time ago, there were slaves that were brought over from Africa and they brought African drumming. They would use drumming to talk to each other, but slave owners didn't like that. So they took their drums away and said they couldn't do any more music. Now to get around that, they made musical instruments out of found objects. So they would get things like bamboo and pieces of a car and metal and old buckets and drum and play anyways. Now, there's a bunch of oil drums on the islands of Trinidad and Tobago because that's where a lot of oil comes from. So they used oil drums to see how many notes they could put on one pan which became the steel pan. This is a steel pan up close. Isn't it big? Whew. Every steel pan has three parts. The playing area, the skirt, and the belly of the pan. To remember, you have a belly inside your shirt and a pan has a belly inside the skirt. And then this is our playing area where all of the notes live. So every single little bubble is a note. Higher steel pans have more notes because the notes are smaller. steel pans have low notes and the notes are bigger. also has an engine room. Just like an engine makes your car go, the engine room of a steel band is where all of the rhythm and the beat is kept to make the steel band go. There are instruments like the drum set, congas, brake drum, shaker, and cowbell. Everything in the engine room is what keeps the beat and drives the rhythm. Even when music instruments were banned in Trinidad and Tobago, the people there still found a way to make music. That's what makes the music sound like a celebration or a party for being thankful for being able to play music again. Let's see, what can we look at when we listen to our performance? We'll get our really good listening ears and see if you can hear the high pans and the low pans. You can also tune your ears in to hear the engine room. Can you listen to the rhythms? You can also use your good watching eyes and count 
How many steel pans are in the steel band? Let me know. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the concert.